Hello everyone and welcome back to Freedom Through Confidence. My name is Ben and in this video today we're going to be talking about self-help again and specifically why in self-help you will never be good enough. Now I have spoken in the past about self-help and it's weird relationship with perfectionism which you know on the one hand they will very very often say perfectionism is not the goal you know you shouldn't be striving to be perfect but you should always be trying to be a little bit better and you know, there should be this element of continuous and never-ending improvement all of these things of course being perfectionism just under another name or usually disguised with a clever acronym and the belief that this often reinforces within people who do engage in self-help or in the self-improvement community is the idea that you are not good enough. And unfortunately, no matter how much you work at it, you never will be. Therefore, you need to get this book. Therefore, you need to attend this seminar. You need to join this mastermind. You need to buy this course. You need to be involved in this membership program. It is a model that perpetuates a feeling of insecurity in the people that kind of are in the self-help and self-improvement community and it profits off of that. Self-help does not profit from actually helping people. That is why you see life coaches driving in Ferraris and Lamborghinis and you probably would be more likely to see a counsellor or therapist going home on the bus because the primary goal of self-help is to make money and the only way that they can make money in perpetuity because the self-help industry has been growing it's worth billions and it is worth more and more every single year is through this idea that you're never quite finished you're never going to be enough you can always push yourself to the next level now Bear in mind, I'm not conflating ambition with perfectionism. If you want to become better, then that's something that you should work towards. What I'm against is self-help's constant pressure and constant reminding you that, yeah, sorry, you're not good enough. You know, okay, so you earn, uh, you know, uh, the average income in the UK is like 22,000. You, you earn 22,000 pounds a year? Uh, well, you know, listen, start a side hustle. Maybe you could be making, you know, an extra 30,000. And so, yeah, you, 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 work, you work your ass off to make that extra 8,000 a year. And instead of now working a 40 hour week, you're working a 70 hour week. But that's not quite enough because you should turn your side hustle into a business. And so you do that and you increase the amount of money that you make sure, but now you're working like 80, 90 hours a week. But that's not enough. You should be a six figure earner. And once you hit that milestone, okay, that's not enough either. You know, you should be a millionaire or a, a, a decamillionaire or a centimillionaire or you should be working towards becoming a billionaire. All these massively unattainable goals. And what is at the foundation of all that? How are you going to do that? Well, you need to buy this course. You need to read this book. You need to join this program. And it's this constant feeding on insecurity that, you know, I'm not quite good enough yet. It's not enough that I'm making this amount of money, which is more than I was making before, which is great. But no, you have to get to the next level and the next level and the next level. It's this process of continuous and never ending improvement that leads into this cycle of insecurity. The belief underneath is, of course, you're not good enough and you need to get to the next level. And that is something that I'm very much against here on this channel. My goal with this channel is over the next 10 years to create the biggest self-improvement channel on YouTube. I don't know what the biggest one is. Maybe they've got like a few million subscribers. Over the next 10 years, I intend to become the biggest in all areas, health, fitness, confidence, dating, like literally all of them, the biggest self-improvement creator out there. And then my goal is to help people so much that I put myself out of business. So I spend the first 10 years creating the biggest platform possible and then the next 10 years trying to tear it all down by giving away so much value to people that you can just go and do this on your own. So remember this above all else when it comes to self-improvement and the self-help gurus of the world. 
this model is a business. It is designed to squeeze as much money from you as possible. And as I said, there is usually always another level. For example, for me, like the big, you know, next level that I'm supposed to be aiming towards is becoming like the quintessential guru. You know, I live in a big fancy apartment or in a mansion somewhere. I drive a Lamborghini and so on and so forth. And I live the guru lifestyle. I travel the world. I meet all sorts of interesting people. I'm always dating like beautiful models and stuff. And I'm not saying that doesn't sound fun or like if I did start making a bunch of money that I wouldn't go and do that. But again, they, portray that lifestyle to you to kind of show you more or less what is uh designed to be like the final level you know once you're once you're so good you become like a guru uh but of course once you get to that level and then there's there's courses for the gurus as well and there's other masterminds and so on and so forth it just starts to cost more and more money and that's, there's there's never an end to it there's always more you are never enough they want you to believe that you can become a winner. And I, I agree with that. I want you to believe that you can become a winner as well. But what they constantly remind you of in their marketing, in the way that they produce videos and other content, is they're always trying to tell you, yeah, of course you could be a winner, but don't forget you're a massive loser right now. So if you want to become a winner, you better buy this course. You better go on this program. You better go to this weekend seminar, so on and so forth. And as I said, there is nothing wrong with aspiring to be better. I aspire to be better than I am right now in pretty much all areas of life. But what I discovered over time was that I wasn't going to be moving forward if I didn't have a certain level of self-acceptance. You wanna be confident in your life and you need to learn self-acceptance. Because if you constantly think that you're not good enough, then that belief is gonna leech away at your confidence every single time. It is the basis for low self-esteem, the belief that you are not good enough in one way or another. So what I encourage you to do is start to explore self-acceptance. I've got other videos on this channel on that subject. So you can check those out. You want to have a look for them. That's fine. They'll be in playlists. So they'll be in the description. They'll pop up in links above my head throughout the video. Probably remember when it comes to self-help that their job is to make money. Their job isn't to help you. Their business model really only works if you keep coming back for more. And that is what I would encourage you to become mindful of, to become aware of, because once you are mindful and aware of that, then you don't fall into the traps and you actually get to make improvements on your terms until you feel like you have achieved your goal, until you have become what you need to be happy or fulfilled or to have achieved your purpose. And that's really all I've got in this video today. So let me know what your thoughts and questions are in the comment section down below. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day all about confidence and life advice for the average Joe. So if that's what you're interested in, make sure that you are subscribed. And yeah, leave a like in the video, share it with all your friends, yada, yada, yada. That's it. That's all I've got for today. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in future videos here on this channel very soon.